All right, now that we have our information, we are going to learn how to copy and paste this information onto a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. Now, it might seem like it should be really intuitive, but uh, it's surprisingly difficult, and uh, there are a lot of little things you need to keep in mind. So uh, let's start with the table first. I'm going to highlight the area I want, move my mouse cursor over it, over the highlighted area, right click, and copy. Now it's important to make sure your r your mouse cursor is over the highlighted area when you right click. Otherwise, if I right click right here, the computer is going to assume I want to highlight this blank box right here. So again, highlight the area, right click when you're over the highlighted area, copy, and I'm going to go to my Word document right here, and I'm going to move it um, my mouse cursor near the blinker paste right there. Now notice the grid lines are gone. If you look at Excel, these grid lines are actually not there. They're visible, but um, they're not actually present. To do that, you need to format the table or you can go to your borders and add borders this way. You can also do that in Word by looking by clicking on your table and going to your table tools this is something that's added and you can add borders this way look down the list see what you like I'm choosing it that way or you can click on the borders and add it uh, just like you did in Excel moving it if you move your mouse cursor over it a little symbol should show up in the corner and you should be able to move it around easy enough doing so in PowerPoint. Now, make sure you don't right click inside the text box. If you do so, this is what's going to happen. Well, I've got to copy this again. So, highlight, right click and copy, paste. So, you don't want this to happen. So, we're going to undo this. Make sure your mouse cursor is outside that text box. So, you can put it right here or even out here and paste it this way. Again, not the most intuitive thing in the world. You can stretch this out, but the font still remains small. So we need to highlight this area, make the font bigger. We could center it if we'd like. Again, our table tools show up. We can choose any number of styles. And that's it. That is inserting a table into PowerPoint and Word. Let's take a look next at uh, inserting a chart. So I'm going to click on this chart. Make sure I right click and copy. When I go to Word, right click and paste, you'll see that the chart actually doesn't move it's not very flexible. It's kind of like when we initially worked with the clip art in Word. It wouldn't move unless you changed the uh, layout. So with the clip art, it was fairly easy. You can right click and go to the text wrapping and change it. In this case, what we need to do is click on this chart, go to our little format, and we could either go to position. I'm actually going to go text wrapping. And I always choose in front of text. This allows me to move my chart anywhere I want freely. And the same goes for PowerPoint. I'm going to actually undo this chart. Again, make sure you right click. Well, if you right click in the text box, it's actually going to be OK. If I want the fonts to be a little bigger, click that er those areas. I can change those font sizes right here. I can change the date font sizes. You don't want it to be too big or too small. But again, our chart tools show up as soon as we click on it. You can change the type of uh, chart, and it actually is kind of like working uh, in Excel within PowerPoint. So all that is available to you. Go ahead and check it out if you'd like.